We're now at the stage where we want to set up our filter because uh, we've got our inquiry object. We want to be able to pass that into a promotions filter, do some modification, come up with the correct um, modifications, the correct discount price, price, etc., and then send the object back. So we're at this stage here, stage two. What would this look like? What would we like it to look like? So I'm thinking we can call it modified inquiry. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. And then how will we, how will we obtain a modified inquiry? Thinking about this logically, what we want is a promotions filter with a simple method, which just applies filtering. So how about promotions filter apply? And obviously that will need the data to work with, so we'll pass our inquiry in like so. And what will happen is that all of this logic here, all of the setting of these new values will actually happen inside of the promotions filter. And so what I'm going to do is create an interface because um, the filtering that we're applying here is to find the lowest price, but we might want to do other things. We might want to find the highest price or uh, do filtering for other criteria so if they all have the same interface the same one method it makes it very easy for me to come up with something there inside of source i'm going to create a directory called filter and then in there i'll create an interface called promotions filter interface and this will just have the one method apply and it will take as its argument a promotion inquiry interface and again it will return a promotion inquiry interface so it's going to take an inquiry do some modification to it and then send the same inquiry back and so now we need our physical filter which is going to apply a lowest price filtering so again inside of filter I'm going to create a class and we'll call this lowest price filter. Which will implement our promotions filter interface. And so we get the squiggly red line. If I hit alt and enter, then it'll give me the option of adding the method stubs. And there's just one method, which is apply. Next, I'm going to take these parts here because we didn't want this logic to be in our control. We want this to be done as part of the filtering. So I'm going to cut these four lines here and then I'm going to go over to the lowest price filter and I'm going to drop them in there. I'll need to change the name of this to inquiry to match the argument. These values are going to be set and then we're going to return that inquiry. This, by the way, is a temporary measure at the moment because we can't guarantee that these methods will be available on a promotion inquiry because if we go and look at the promotion inquiry interface, they don't actually exist on there. So like I say, this is just temporary. Uh, our options are we could add these methods to the promotion inquiry interface, but let's think about this. Do we really want to do that? Are we going to need these methods for all of our uh, instances of promotion inquiry and there's a good chance that we might not and so if you think about your solid principles interface segregation you don't want to be adding uh, a load of methods to an interface and forcing uh, objects to implement certain methods which they're not going to use and have that redundancy so we're going to keep it where it is at the moment just to keep things moving and to keep the wheels rolling and so that up our service is reachable and that is giving back the data as we expect it but this is something that we're going to think about and we're going to come back and change it later for the time being we just want to make it work so let's go over to products controller and we're going to inject this into our lowest price uh, method here so let's start tidying this up so uh, it's a bit easier to read so i'm just dropping these onto their own lines and then the last one will be Promotions filter interface and we'll call this, I think we've called it promotions filter, yes we have. 
and now instead of returning a lowest price inquiry we're going to return our modified inquiry which has come back from the filter so at the moment you're probably thinking that this wouldn't actually work because we've injected an interface but we haven't created any aliasing or anything like that so how does it know that we're going to want to use the lowest price filter but if we actually go over to postman and run this As you can see, we're getting a successful result back. We've got 200 and we're getting our data. So how is this working? The reason that this works is some automatic auto wiring is going on under the hood. We only have one class which implements promotions filter interface. And so Symfony is smart enough to be able to just go and find the one and only class which is implementing this. If we had two uh, classes which were implementing promotions filter interface then yes we'd have to go into the config and actually um, specify which one we want it to use in this instance but because we only have the one then it automatically auto wires it for us which is really quite smart and it saves us an extra step now what I'm going to do here is just move out some of these comments uh, because we don't need them when you're using comments the rule I tend to use is use them if you need to explain the why why you're doing something but you don't need to have them to explain what something is we only put these in here to actually guide us from the beginning to lay out our roadmap but when we know where we're going now so we can remove those and i'm also going to remove this so our control is a lot more slimmer now uh, we still have this bit in here which i'm going to leave in for the time being until we add some more uh, our own custom error handling which i'll probably leave towards the end of the course what I'm going to do is go over to Postman and show you something. So here where we've created our body and we've created a product ID of one, but actually in the URI we've used a product ID of 22. So I'm just going to do something which will make everything uh, use the same values. On this tab here, pre-request script, you can actually set variables, environment variables. So if I click here where it says set environment variable, and here we'll create one called product ID. And we'll just keep life simple and set it to the number one. And then to use that in the URI, we just need two opening and closing curly braces. And as you can see, it's turned orange. And so here I'll say product ID. So now that should start using our product ID of one here. Let's go back to the body. I'll do the same thing here. Open and close in curly braces. Product ID. So let's send another request. Okay, and so that's working. I'm just going to change this response format to JSON here. Okay, so we're getting the values back as we would like. We're now seeing product ID of one, and that is the value that we are passing in. If I go to a pre request script, and change this to a null 33. As you can see, we're now getting back a product ID of 33. I'll change that back. Okay, so we need to finish off. What are our next steps? Well, we are passing in our inquiry here to the promotions filter, but it's going to need some more information. It's going to need the product, which will probably contain the price, and it's going to need the actual filters. What do the filters, what are the rules which are going to be applied in order to come back with the correct price? And so in the next one, what we'll do is we'll start thinking about our schema, and we'll start thinking about how we'd like to get... Uh, our data into the promotions filter. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.